Occupy, Resist, Produce Of all the stories of resistance and resilience that emerge from this traumatic period, few have captured and crystallized the spirit of the time like the movement of recovered factories. Today, ten years later, there are still some 300 factories that have been taken over by their workers and turned into cooperatives. During the crisis, when their world seemed to be pulling apart, this act of workers seemed a gesture at once concrete and supremely symbolic, a powerful fusion of defiance and hope. At the time, the takeovers were not motivated by politics. Mostly, they were simple acts of desperation. At the height of the crisis, in Buenos Aires alone, 3,900 factories were declared bankrupt and abandoned by their owners. Workers who had been left with nothing, without work and without the wages they were owed, had simply nothing left to lose. They needed to feed their families, but they had also passed a threshold. The familiar subservience to power and authority had fallen away. The atmosphere of the time had corroded the old class mystique inside the workplace and beyond. Perhaps bosses weren't so indispensable after all. And although it wasn't entirely clear at the time, what was being recovered in the factory takeovers was far more than work and the means of production. People were also recovering something essential about themselves and about their society.